Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Jesus, an encouraging Arsenal move. Zinchenko. Options in the centre. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Tyrone Mings plays alongside Ezri Konza in central defence. Bubakar Kamara starts alongside Douglas Luis in central midfield. And up front, Danny Ings plays alongside Ollie Watkins. Intercepting it intelligently. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. So now a corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And the danger still on. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Alexander Zinchenko. And can they create something? And saved by the keeper. And he might be through here. Oh, right in the nick of time. Martin Odegaard. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. Well, what a stop that was. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Struggling to get it away. A smart stop here. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Gabriel Jesus. Magnificent defending. Ollie Watkins. A really sumptuous ball. Just couldn't capitalise there. Emiliano Buendia. Douglas Luiz. Buendia. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Well, possibilities in the centre. And there goes the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here at Villa Park. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Buendia. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Danny Ings. Surely, 
Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? And he's clear as lines. Mings. Buendia. Terrific block. Spot on with that tackle. 30 minutes to go then. Martin Odegaard. He's in with a chance. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? And underway again, Arsenal other side in front. No, high quality defending. He's enjoying space. Vital interception, the danger was very real. Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Xhaka. And a chance, Odegaard, and it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Buendia, Ollie Watkins, well not the pass he had in mind, 10 minutes left for play, Gabriel Jesus, well there's no getting away from it, Arsenal are cruising Stuart. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball. And they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Gabriel Jesus. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Ramsey has it. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Time for a change then. So there goes the final whistle. It ends in a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, a good performance as usual from Martin Odegaard. How would you sum up his contribution? Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.